the first step to working on the brake lights um, to get access to the switch is you're going to want to remove <coughs> this panel. Let me cut a light on down here to show. So under the dash, you're going to have this black panel. Mine had this plastic screw and this plastic. It's not even a screw. It's just a, it's like a plastic rivet. It just pops out. Pops out. Gently remove the ODB2 port. It will pop out and go through the back. Don't just rip this panel off with that port mounted because you could rip the port. Clearly this had probably another plastic one right there which is gone. Once that's uh, removed, you get access up under here to what you need. That's the first step. I just wanted to show completed uh, with it on. Hey, it's Jason. Um, I discovered on the 98 Discovery 1 when you hit the brakes, the brake lights did not cut on. And this is the brake light switch hanging, which is supposed to be mounted. So when you push the pedal down, it will essentially push this little button in and trigger the brake lights. Um, I should know what this is for, but I don't. But this one's not mounted either, and it appears to go over. It's really tight to work under here, but you remove this black panel, which I show in photos. And you're basically trying to get it to mount. I'm trying to show you here. In here. The brake light switch in the top square hole and the other switch in the round hole. Admittedly, um, I'm having a hell of a time trying to get it in there. So I'm going to start to figure out if maybe this is just the bad brake switch and not the right one to fit in the hole. Um... But if it is, I'm going to try my best to get it hooked up. Okay, what a pain in the butt this brake light switch was. And I think part of the issue was just contorting my body. It reminds me of working under a kitchen sink. I had the seat back all the way. And what was happening was my brake light switch was just hanging. It wasn't mounted. And then the cruise control switch is the switch a moment ago. I said I didn't know what it went to. So as you can see, if I go under here now, <clears throat> let me try to angle this a little bit better. Bear with me, I know it's a little jittery. What you're looking at right there, this right there, that's the brake light switch mounted. So when you compress the brake, the little tab on the back releases and the brakes turn on, the brake lights. When it goes up, it compresses it. If you listen closely, you can probably hear it click. So I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to compress and release. When I release, listen for the click. You hear that? That's the button getting hit. The little tiny click. And then the other thing I said I didn't know what it was for is the cruise control. So previously I said I didn't know what the other one was for. Hanging. Cruise control. So when you engage the cruise control, the moment you tap the brake, that will compress and kill cruise control. So basically what I had was, I guess, an infinity cruise control. If it was engaged, um, I guess you'd have to cut it off on the steering wheel. Oh, I actually don't remember where it's at on the D1. Um, I guess uh, not the steering wheel to the right of the um, ignition switch. But I'm going to mount that one back. And... It will go in the bottom hole, which is right there. So see that round hole? It's going to twist in there. That's the brake light switch. And you just had to remove the panel, which was this bad boy, which was underneath. And mine was, you know, you'll put the ODB2 sensor back through and mount this back up and it was held in place with two of these although it's supposed to have some screws but um, it was just held in place with two of those so I'm going to go ahead and put all of this back together 
and now we have a brake light that is working. So just to show again, the brake light switch goes in that top one. That's what you're looking at right there. Cruise control goes in the hole underneath. It's really hard to get in here with the camera, so I'm super sorry, but I think that will give you an idea. So if your, your brake lights are staying on, it could be the switch, which is this right here, $54. If it's not the switch, first make sure that, you know, you, uh, it's mounted. Mine, for whatever reason, was hanging. And if it's not the, uh, if it is mounted, it's the switch. And the same goes with your cruise control. If it's not cutting off when you hit your brake, it could be the switch. Give yourself about 45 minutes and some patience. Because just getting set up with the light and contorting your body, for me, was a giant pain in the ass. But I've never done one before. Now I know. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I have everything mounted back. The brake lights are no longer set on the on position because the brake light switch and cruise control switch is mounted back. So just to give you a look at both, you can see right there the front one. This one, cruise control. The one behind brake light. They're mounted right above the pedal. You can hear them kind of make a very faint click. 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 That's how you know they're getting hit by the pedal and working. No idea why these weren't mounted. I suspect somebody was doing some work on the car. And admittedly, a pain to get under here. Um... You know, maybe if you're a lot smaller than I than I am, it's easier. But they're both mounted, and I removed that access plate to uh, to get to it. Very easy, just pops off. So if I go to start this 1998 Discovery One, you will now see I have it under a cover. The brake lights are not on. That was a big pain that I'm glad to have checked off of the list. Hope this video has been somewhat useful. I'm just a DIY guy, I'm not a mechanic. So a mechanic may have been able to say, no duh, I can do that in five seconds. Took me researching it, contorting my body to get under there, probably 45 minutes in total.